beginning of day 64. We're still at Cottonwood Creek. Just getting ready to take off. But, um, these awesome people that were here last night feeding us and making us pancakes and coffee, oranges this morning. Awesome, especially since I didn't eat breakfast. So, pretty stoked. Beautiful day out. It's probably going to get hot. I know. We just walked through the wind farm. We just left Cottonwood Creek. There's a truck coming down the road. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing lots of climbing today. I think it's about 2,000 foot climb altogether. Morning. And, uh, it's warm out already. It's a little after seven I think and, uh, kind of getting a late start since we stopped to get can't kick some fruit but it was worth it yeah, it's gonna be pretty warm though lots of breaks today <laughs> Off the road, back on a trail, which is nice. Just climbed a couple little hills. Well, it's kind of flattened out again. I'm assuming once we get out of these windmills, we'll be climbing over this, these hills to the top today and then I believe there's some trail magic up there where there's some chairs and water and stuff in the shade which will be nice it's gonna be a hot climb 730 and it's already warm out so potholes coming She's not feeling the greatest today. She's got my virus, I think, now, which sucks. She's kind of congested.
down about a little over two and a half miles. Get closer to these, these mountains. It's still pretty warm out. Beautiful day though. Um, pretty good. Just gonna have to have to take lots of breaks today. Cause it's warm. Hot holes isn't feeling good, so just gonna need more breaks. But yeah, it's nice out. We uh nice to get done. Oh animal over here. It's about 9.30 and um, we've got about four miles. Um, super hot out so we're pretty much uh, any chance we get a tree for some shade we're just stopping. So it's like our third stop already in two hours but it's a super hot so just trying to keep our bodies cooled off and, and rest in between. So, yeah, we keep finding these these shade trees. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but they make great shade. And uh, as you can see back here, we're getting close to this mountain range. We're just about there to start climbing up it, and the water source is up at the top of, like, the first hill up there. But we've been slowly climbing. It's been pretty gradual, a couple steeper ones, but um, definitely is more challenging in this heat. So we're just going to take it slow and uh, take a long lunch break today and maybe do a little more hiking later on. So it doesn't get dark now till like, what, 8.30, 9-ish. So you got plenty of daylight. So no rush. creek probably down here at the bottom so we just climbed all the way up on top of this ridge see the valley down there and it looks like we're going down to this creek and then we're coming back around and climbing all the way up around this this hill here Yep. All right, we've taken a, a long lunch at the creek and uh, filled up with water, grabbed uh, almost four liters of water. Um, we've got about three miles of kind of just up and down, you know, nothing real steep, but then it, uh, and then it goes down a little bit, and then you climb, like, 1,600 feet. We're trying to get to a campsite at mile, I think it's 549. There's, uh, some trail magic up there with chairs and a shady spot, and usually some water and sometimes some snacks, but 
Not sure if we're gonna be able to make it there. It's not that far. It's only like seven. I think it's like 7.4 miles, but um, I'm just gonna wait and see how potholes fill. She's uh, definitely not feeling that great today. So um, there's lots of campsites on the way up. So we're just making sure we bring lots of water. So if she feel it feels like she needs to stop and camp, we can do that. We'll just dry camp and then we'll be able to get water hopefully up there um in the morning if we do stop early and then tomorrow is going to be pretty much downhill um to Tehachapi so unless we don't finish the climb today but uh yeah I'm feeling pretty good um it is warm out we got a nice shady spot though for lunch and then uh but definitely need lots of breaks when you can find shade just because of the heat so, anyway, um, this is the creek that we're at. There's not a huge flow down there. It's just a trickle, but it was pretty clear. I think it's the same creek as, uh, I guess that's it was Cottonwood Creek, maybe. I don't, it may be a different one. There's not as much silt in it, though, which is great, even though the sand around it is really gray. Uh, the water was pretty clear, so, yeah, not bad. It'll work. And there's potholes down there filtering our water. I already did mine because mine takes longer. Uh, quite a few people today we definitely have the bubble has caught up with us. So there's been lots of hikers and these guys are relatively fast. Most of them started like the end of April. We were just sitting with a guy that started May 2nd. And so he's gotten, these guys have gotten as far as us in a month less time pretty much so yeah that's all right like I said we're not in a hurry there's plenty of snow so you know we're just trying to take our time and uh, we've taken a lot of zeros this last few weeks so it is what it is and uh, you know hopefully we can just keep making good progress and everybody will be healed up and and uh, We'll keep moving forward. Uh, River Wolf is here. He's over under that big tree under there. So I guess his hamstring was bothering him last night. So he didn't do very many miles. And uh, it's holding up until it cools off a little bit. So anyway, we'll probably be a little bit ahead of him. Now depending on how far he goes today. But uh, yeah. All right. Get you down the trail. All right, we just stopped for a break. It's two o'clock. We just signed the trail register over here. We've done uh, about two point, I don't know, 2.6 miles, I think, since lunch. So we're going along this ridge and then it cuts over. I can see switchbacks. I don't know if you can see them from here, but you can see one person walking over there on the lowest switchback. Pretty sure that's what we're going up. And it looks like they just go all the way up and then kind of around over to the right there. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, I see a couple people on the switchbacks. So, We've got about 4.5 miles to get to the campsite we want to get to. There is a campsite at 2.1, so we'll just have to see. Potholes is still a little better, so um, we might be able to make it up there, hopefully. Yeah, it's going to take a while, though, definitely. It's hot. It looks pretty barren up there. I don't see any shade whatsoever. see some hikers over the trail the way we're going. A couple southbounders coming this way and one through hiker going the other way. Yeah, good times. Switchbacks look like fun. He's yeah, he's like the perfect colors. Burn tone lizard. If you can see it. Blend in so well. Yeah, it's 
surprised he's just sitting there. We just climbed. I don't know if you can see there's somebody with an umbrella over there coming down a hill. But we, we came all the way down that, all the way down to the bottom, and then climbed this over here. It's hard to see the whole thing, but it was switchbacks all the way up. And we still got some more to go. Still got like three miles of uphill. It's uh, about 5.30 and we made it to mile uh, 5.49. So we're at the water cache and we are camping here. Um, yeah, it was a rough hike today. Lots of uh, switchbacks, really steep uphill um, all afternoon. So pretty tired. Last couple of miles was rough. Um, and uh, Potholes and I are going to camp here. And then uh, in the morning we just have, I think, like nine miles to get to Tehachapi. Uh, if we take the Willow Springs Road. And um, so, and it's downhill, so it should be pretty easy hiking tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm tired. We did, uh, I think, 15 miles today. And uh, it was hot out. Um, there's a little bit of a breeze now. It's starting to cool off, so... Um, yeah, I'm already in my tent, getting ready to have some coffee and, uh, dinner, and, uh, then I'll probably go to sleep, so, um, good day, I'm glad we got as far as we did, wasn't sure if we were going to be able to do it, but we, we made it, um, so I will talk to you tomorrow.